I, I just said dream elements dying. Like that sounds so weird even to say that. Like, have you ever had a dream where you died in your dream? Not many people actually have dreams where they actually die in their dream. It does happen periodically, but it's such a weird feeling. Even if it's not you that died, maybe you're seeing somebody else die. There's usually that that real strong emotional response to what's going on. And, and those are the dreams that, that will often shake us when we wake up from them. What, what does it mean when you see somebody die in a dream? Well, most of the time, it's not a literal death. Now, there are times when it is, and we'll get to that in a second, but most of the time, it's not a literal death. It's saying that something is going to come to an end. It could be a dying to self, so there could be something that is in them that needs to die, maybe a part of their sin nature, something that's unhealthy, something that's not good, that's going to come to an end. It could be talking about a change of season. Maybe there's a season of their life that's going to die. You could have a dream of a friend that dies, and it's not really talking about the fact that they're dying, but there's going to be separation in the relationship. Maybe they're going to move to another state or to another town, and that relationship is not going to be the same as what it was before. That is one of the aspects of dying. I've seen dying talking about losing a job, somebody that, that dies and they end up losing their job. But it, it was something that job was really important to them. It was almost part of their identity. And so it's like a part of them died uh, when that happened. Strong loss like that can be a dying or a death in a dream. Then that, That's generally what it means. But there are times when dying in a dream is actually that person is going to die. And those are not the fun dreams to have, but they can be very, very helpful because sometimes people need help to transition well. They need to deal with some things so that they have peace as they transition into the next season. Or maybe they really need to know Jesus before they transition. And so God will sometimes share what's going to happen beforehand. One, to give somebody peace, to help them to recognize this is really okay even though it hurts, or to help that person prepare and be ready for what's coming. And so if you see one of those dreams, now, how do you know if it's real? You can't just say the emotional impact because you can have an emotional impact when it's more metaphoric. Usually, not 100% of the time, but usually if you see blood, it's usually an actual dying. Now, again, not 100% of the time, but usually if you see blood, um, usually if there's a funeral, now, not always again, because I've actually seen this where it was talking about helping a community go through a season of grieving because somebody had left, that somebody was leaving. And so there was a funeral for that person because there needed to be a season of grieving and letting go of that person so that the community could move on because they were central to that community. So that could be it. But it's also, that's one of the clues that sometimes lets you know that this is about a literal dying. And, and then the, the main one is when you wake up, ask the Lord, Lord, is this literal or is it not? Now, I'm going to give you one more piece that's important. If you, in the dream, have a significant amount of fear, and when you wake up, you're still feeling that fear, that was most likely a fear dream from the enemy and not something that's actually going to happen. So when that happens, pray against it because you're realizing either the enemy is trying to give you fear or God's allowed you to see the plans of the enemy. Either way, it's not so that you can accept it. It's so that you can stand against it so that it doesn't happen. So if you have that level of fear, you realize the enemy is involved in this and God does not want it to happen because the enemy and God are opposite ends of the spectrum. So bless you and happy dreaming.